All right, guys, on this activity, what we're going to be doing is identifying the different parts of an experiment. So Susie Q wants to know the effects of different colors of light on the growth of plants. So from here, we can already tell the thing that we will be manipulating and the thing that will be responding, what we're going to measure. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. So the thing we're manipulating is the different colors of light. So that is our independent variable because we are manipulating that. And in response to that, Susie is wanting to test the growth of plants. So that is our dependent variable. That is what we are going to measure. Okay. She believes that plants can survive best in white light. She buys five ferns of the same species, which are all approximately the same age and height. She places one in white light, one in blue light, one in green light, one in red light, and one in the closet. All of the ferns are planted in miracle Grow and given 20 milliliters of water once a day for two weeks. After the two weeks, Susie observes the plants and makes measurements. So Susie's hypothesis is that she believes that plants can survive best in white light. So the way we write that in a hypothesis form would be if a plant is grown in white light, then it will, she says, survive best. or <clears throat> grow the most, okay? So that is what she is committing to. She thinks that the white light is going to be the best, okay? So she manipulates the different colors of light and she's measuring the growth of plants. So her control group is going to be a group of these plants that she does not apply this independent variable to, that she does not manipulate the lights. So if we read, she's got one in white light, one in blue light, one in green light, one in red light, and then one in the closet. That means that it is exposed to no light. So the control group would be the plant in the closet plant with no light. It does not get the independent variable. So the experimental group would be the plants in the different colors. Okay. The constants are going to be the things that stay the same. They are constant in every different group. They are the same. So our constants, she says, she, they all have miracle grow they all have 20 milliliters of water they're all the same species of plants same age and height Constants are important because then we know that the independent variable is what's making the difference, not something else that's giving them an advantage. And then what types of measurements can Susie make on the plant to determine how they did in different types of light? She can measure how tall they grew. She could measure um, how many leaves they had, anything like that, anything that is going to be a difference, but she would have to commit to how she is going to measure them. So that is the different parts of an experiment. Um, when given a, an experiment, you can identify the different variables.